Hello and welcome to the penultimate round of the Marangoni Production BMW Championship in association with QuickFit, where today drivers have been negotiating the twists and elevations that is the mini Nürburgring of Cadwell Park. One of the drivers doing particularly well at the moment is relative newcomer Matt Parks. I managed to catch up with him earlier. I've done a very small amount of car karting just for fun. We never had any, any money to, to, to do it seriously. Um, so we, we just, just a bit of fun and karting for a couple of years and, and, and that was it really. Um, and then I decided after watching Mike build his car, um, I decided to go the same route because it, uh, it just looks so fun. And so how has the season been going for you so far? Because I, I believe rather well. Yeah, it's been going really well actually. We had a, 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 an incredible start to the season because we had um, car problems on a shakedown weekend prior to Brands. Um, but we got the car sorted, came back, came straight out to Brands, we got two podiums which we weren't really expecting. It was a bit of a shock to us. Quite an emotional weekend that was really. Um, and then it's just been the same all the way through, really. We had a bad weekend last weekend, uh, two weeks ago at Brands, uh, but we seem to be back, back for, back for the run in now. So. Well, yeah, it seems pretty good for today because you've qualified third, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I was testing Friday because I've never driven at this track before, um, but I've absolutely fallen in love with it um, straight away. Um, and it's good to have Mike uh, to, to sort of help me out because he knows knows the score. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. It would be nice to have been like second or, or on the front row, full stop, but I'm in a good place to start, so. And um, hoping for a win today? That's what we're gonna go for. Not gonna, not gonna settle for anything less. Well, there's a large crowd here then at Cadwell Park, ready to enjoy the action from the BMWs. And it's Mike Tovey who takes pole by just nine thousandths of a second from Ben Winrope with Matthew Parks and Liam Crilly completing the second row, as ever, a very, very large grid here at Cadwell Park. So we've got a green flag being waved at the rear of the pack and ready for the off and away we go. It's a good start from Mike Tovey. Ben Winter a little bit more sluggishly away and then the white number five car, Liam Crilly and the red 22 machines made a super stop and they're squeezing into the first corner and it's Matthew Parks gets fired off into the Armco barrier. So Parks goes off and everybody else behind has to jump at the brakes. Stephen Murphy who goes sideways as well. He clouts Andrew Cottrell but as they head through Coppers for the first time, I think they've all just about got away with that to a greater or lesser extent. Anyway, it's Mike Toby who leads the way with Ben Winrow in hot pursuit in second place. They head along the park straight for the first time up to park corner in car then with Harry Goodman. Let's take a look there. Matthew Parks moves across on Ben Winrow with Liam Crilly to the inside. There was absolutely nowhere to go for Ben or indeed Liam. And Parks pitched into the spin just as well. He's sponsored by an accident repair specialist company, really, isn't it? Because he has just damaged some of the bodywork on that car, but he has rejoined the race. But it's Toby and Winrow who lead it. It's Harry Goodman here in the white car, who's in third. Liam Crilly, despite his involvement in the incident, is in fourth as they filter down through the gooseneck for the first time. Hugely entertaining corner of the gooseneck. And then hard on the brakes for Mansfield. And through goes Liam Crilly up the inside into third. And Crilly sideways. He keeps the advantage, though, just as then sprint along towards the mountain. But Harry Goodman's got the inside line for the mountain. He should reclaim the place down through the gears, a little bit sideways, and then up over the hump of the mountain and into the twists and turns of the hall bends. Very, very unique challenge here at Cowell Park for these drivers as Charles Plumley also joins into that battle. So winding through hall bends, then Mike Tovey and Ben Winrow around the hairpin and on towards Barn to conclude the lap as the rest of the field jink through. It's very tricky to go side by side. A couple of the cars sporting a little bit of trim damage from those earlier adventures, but otherwise no problems as Nigel Olive Jones looks to gain ground. Mike Toby leads through and into Coppice once more. Ben Winrow in his wheel tracks, and this year has been all about the battle between the pair of them as Toby misses a gear going into Charlie's, and this could be an opening here for Ben Winrow. You can see him in his mirror, and now he comes alongside, takes the lead, and Mike Toby will be kicking himself for that. He just missed the gear, he eventually found it, it spun the car up, but along the park straight, he's right on the tail of Ben Winrow. Winrow already covering the inside line as they jump over the crest and arrive into park corner. Winrow to the inside, Toby to the outside, but it is Ben Winrow who holds on to lead the race then, as he then heads into Chris Curve. Again, a very quick corner, Chris Curve, particularly as the road falls away into the gooseneck. 
there is Mike Tovey. Now, where can he try and find his way back through, riding the curves through the gooseneck? And that requires so much commitment as the road just drops away into Mansfield. And then we've got an equally fierce fight for third. Harry Goodman holds it, but Liam Crinley's looking to the inside. He can't quite do it. And Harry Goodman then maintains third position as the leaders accelerate along towards the mountain. Mike Tovey, no way through for him on this occasion. What about the tussle for third? Liam Crilly in the wheel tracks of Harry Goodman. Here they come. But again, nothing doing for Crilly as over the mountain then. The leading duo and into Hall Benz, which is barely a car's width wide, let alone two cars. And so Mike Tovey is just going to have to try and pressurise Ben Winrow into an error. Liam Crilly attempting to do the same to Harry Goodman, but Harry for my money, has been one of the most improved drivers over the course of the season. He really has got better and better with each round. But Liam Crilly tries to squeeze to the inside into the hairpin. And he just about forces his way through as they head towards Barn and Crilly. How he found the gap there, I do not know. But he climbs up into third position. Harry Goodman immediately looks to retaliate as the corner markers are testimony to the enthusiasm of some of these drivers. As Aaron Morgan climbs up over the mountain in the black car, 177. To Hall Benz, his next target is Jack Gabriel. There he is in the sky blue car. And Gabriel has had a difficult couple of rounds. He didn't go so well at the Brands Hatch Grand Prix circuit. He's also not going brilliantly here at Cadwell Park. It's the story of the season has been this battle between Ben Winner and Mike Tovin. It's got ever more fierce, and this is very, very intense. They head along the park straight into Park Corner. It's Winrow to the inside line, and Tovey won't be able to power around the outside, try as he may. He'll look for the switch back, maybe to the inside of Ben Winrow into Chris Curve. Around Chris they come and in to them. The gooseneck Toby fighting the wheel as the camber change mid corner pitches the car and then downhill towards Mansfield. And Toby's going to go for it. He looks inside, he locks up and he tags Ben Winrow. And they both go off. Winrow takes the grass. Mike Toby almost spins the car on Winrow bumps and bores his way onto the track. He didn't take his right foot off the accelerator for a moment. But it's the number one car of Mike Toby who leads it. Ben Winrow in second. And to be fair to Mike, he was trying to get through there. He just misjudged the braking. Such a steep entry to Mansfield. And he had no option really but to take Ben Winrow. But Winrow is not going to take this line down. And we're moving towards the later stage of the race as well. So Ben Winrow is going to try and fight his way back ahead of Mike Toby. He's got just a couple more tours of the circuit with which to do it as Simon Glenn and Miles Howard fight over sixth position. Howard in the bright orange car pursuing then the silver machine. Simon Glenn in front of the packed grandstand at the mountain. It's one of the best spectating points I think anywhere in the UK for motorsport. Riding over the kerbs then Simon Glenn just hooking his wheel inside the kerb as over the start and finish line and Ben Winrow is going to challenge Mike Toby into confidence. That is going to be an incredibly brave move and Winrow is going to try it around the outside and he takes the lead of the race. That's absolutely stunning driving from Ben Winrow and there was nothing Mike Toby could do. So Winrow assumes the lead of the race. Toby still fighting the wheel through Charlie's as they head onto the park straight then for the final time. And Ben Winrow, all action, sliding the rear of the car. Simon Glenn and Miles Howard, will they still fight with each other? And Mike Toby, now he's got the lead. Can he pull away from Mike Toby? He's not got too long to hold on here as Winrow. Stay. Again, ride the kerbs through the gooseneck down into Mansfield. Mike Tovey, understandably, a little bit more restrained on the brakes, but it means that Ben Winrow has only got a couple more corners to hold on here as there are battles going on throughout the field. Andrew Partridge hot on the heels of Leonard Oliver. As they jig through it, so it's on Nigel Adams. There's the Nigel but it's Nigel Adams who is busy defending them from Andrew Partridge. Partridge in the number six car. He's going to get the run here on Adams as they come out of Mansfield, as working through Hall Benz then. For the last time, Mike Tovey chases Ben Winrow, but Ben Winrow just a couple of corners away from another victory. So out of the hairpin he comes and into Barn, Mike Tovey. There's no way through at Barn, so Ben Winrow accelerates out to the final turn. The chequered flag is ready and waiting, and he is going to take the win in what has been one of the best races of the year from the Marangoni Tars Production BMW Championship in association with Quick for the Opens. The door pumps his fist in delight. Ben Winrow. Claims the spores of victory with a very, very solid second for Mike Toby. Liam Crilly takes third, and the Goodman fourth, Charles Plumley in fifth, and Simon Glenn held on for sixth. All smiles on the podium for Ben Winrow. Round of applause from Liam Crilly and smiles for Mike Toby, the runner up.
Yeah, it kind of takes the pressure off uh, for this afternoon a little bit, if I'm honest. Um, we still got one drop score in hand, so it'd be really nice if we can get a, a, con a consistent result this afternoon. You're not often hear me say this, but second place will do us just fine this afternoon. Uh, we'll obviously still be pushing for the win, but uh, a one-two today is uh, more than we could hope for uh, after qualifying this morning because it's so difficult to pass around this tight, twisty circuit. And how was it going with Mike? Because that was a really close battle today. Yeah, you know, we, uh, I've got a great friendship with Mike, uh, which is rare for someone that you fight so closely with in a championship. Um, we know each other well. We know our strengths and weaknesses as well. Um, I know I'm strong through the quick uh, corners, and I know Mike's just got a little edge on me, um, particularly on the uh, on the power coming out of the slower corners. So I know when to watch my back. Um, just not quite enough today. Um, we had a couple of little nudges from behind, which put Mike back into the lead at one stage. But um, yeah, really happy to uh, to get the end result. Mike, you gave Ben a real run for his money there, didn't you, today? Um, yeah, like I said, after qualifying this morning, it's not very rarely I get that close to Ben or in front of him on a qualifying. Uh, by nine thousandths of a second, I just pipped him. I was up for a close race, had a brilliant start, um, got in front of Ben, but a silly mistake at the top of the hill. I slipped, was supposed to slip down to fourth and just missed the change, which the rear of the car got crossed up and just Ben just breezed past, which was annoying. Um, but apart from that, it was a, a very, very close race for 15 minutes. Fantastic close action there, especially between the two leaders. And we heard Ben saying that he'd be happy with a second place on the podium in the next race. We'll see about that in a few moments.